guys i welcome you back to my channel thank you so much for your support and if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe so that you'll be able to see more of my upcoming videos and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified anytime i post a new video so in this video today i'll be showing you how to draft a bustier pattern with yoke and i'm going to be using the same pattern to cut and sew a peplum blouse with bustier with this bustier pattern so let's get started so the first thing i will do to make it very easy for us is to draft out the basic bodies i'll be working with this measurement i have here so the first thing to do is to you know your starting point and this edge will be my starting point and it will be the shoulder line so you measure your your bust line so i have 11 and a half here and the under bust 14 and a half then the waistline is 17 so like that then i'll do the same thing here in order to get it accurately So next thing is to create the shoulder line and the the neckline i'll be using three inches for the neck depth then for the neck width i'll be using four inches then the shoulder i'm working with is eight inches so i'm just going to mark eight and a half the half and that half inch will be for joining at the shoulder so i'm marking eight and a half then I'll connect the neckline. Then at the shoulder, you go down by one inch because the shoulder is not straight. Then I'll connect that. So for the armhole line, I'll be using eight and a half inches. You can watch my video on how to make a basic body pattern so that you know how to calculate the arm pole line so next thing is to find the middle point of this line and now we have around 4.25 that is the middle point and after that middle point go in by 0 0.8 inch then I would this line will be the chest line and I'm just going to label it chest or the upper chest upper chest line this is the bust line under bust line and the waist line so I will now connect this point to this and then to the So once you've done that, the next thing now is to measure what you want for the yoke, the depth of the yoke that you want. So I'll be using, you can use 5 inches, you can use 6 inches, so it depends on what you want. And just imagine you are, you are making uh, your usual blouse, so the depth that you will use is the same thing as the depth that you will use for the yoke. So, but remember that the yoke neckline is not going to be as deep as the usual blouse. So, I'll just use 6 inches, 5.5 inches. So, this is, this is the depth. So, the next thing is to connect from the middle point of the armhole line to this point down straight to your center front so if you want to 
use a, neck, a sweetheart neckline so this is where you will adjust it but this is the basic so i'll be using a sweetheart neckline for this and then i'm just going to shape it a little bit from this point to the center front so you can go down like one inch or 1.5 inches so it depends on what you want so just like that like that so once you are able to do this the next thing now is to work on the bust line so the nipple to nipple measurement you measured you will divide it by two whatever you get after dividing it you add up an inch to it so i'll be adding up an inch to four inches and i'm having four and a half inches here so you mark that four and a four and a half inches on all these lines this horizontal line then you connect it like that so the next thing now is to place the dart and to do that i will start from this line this yoke line and i'll be marking one inch at both sides like that then at the bust point i will go down by half an inch at the bust point you can go down by one inch and you can go down by half an inch for this pattern so it depends but we advise that you go down either by half an inch or by one inch don't just mark straight on the bust point then to the under bust i will be using two inches for the under bust as well so i'm marking one inch at both side and then on the waistline you can so i'll be using 1.5 inch here then the next thing now is to connect all this line together so the next thing we want to do now is to place our measurement so first i will start from here you, the two inches that we use for the dart you will need to add it to this line to the armhole so i'm just going to add that two inches like this like that and then on the bust line you will have you measure the to divide the bust you are working with by four so i have 10 inches for the after dividing my bust after dividing the bust by four i have 10 inches so you will need to add extra two and a half inches to it so plus two and a half inches that will be 12.5 inches so what i will measure here now is 12.5 inches that means i will extend this line so i'm just going to extend all the line waistline you divide the waist by four by four i will have nine inches and then i use 1.5 inch for the dart plus 1.5 inch that is 10.5 then i'm just going to add one inch for the same allowance so plus one inch that will give me 11.5 inch So 11.5 inches so you can add here you can add two inches you can add 1.5 inches so depending on how you want the allowance you want at the side seam but we suggest that you had allowance to it it's better to have excess than to be short of fabric so once you've done that the next thing is now to connect this new hand mold midpoint you connect it to this line
so i'm just going to write one here and then this is the second panel and this this is our joke so, so i'm just going to add one inch here and that one will be that one inch will be for joining with the peplum So this is what we have and this is the yoke. So, so this is the back and we are going to add sip allowance to the back. So I'll just mark 1.5 inch. It is 1.5 inch. So after that you create the back neckline. So I'll be using the same, uh, the same thing for the back as well for the yoke. So I'm just going to trace it. So like this. So for the back, the back is not going to have this uh, sweetheart neckline. So it's going to be straight like this. So and for the front, I use 8.5 inch for the hand mold depth. So that is what I will use here as well. 8.5 inch. For the bust line, 11 and a half. The waist, the under bust, 14 and a half, and the waist line, 17. So for the back, you need to draw out this horizontal line and then the yoke. So I'm just going to mark this as the yoke for the back. Then to create the armhole line, we are not coming in at this point, so you just draw from here to this point. Like that. This is the upper chest bust line, under bust. And the waistline once you've created the armhole cuff then you come to the bust line you measure the you do the nipple to nipple measurement that is four so you mark four inches the nipple to nipple measurement at the bust line and then you draw a line a vertical line from the upper chest to the waistline at the upper chest now you go down by one inch like this and at the waistline you use one inch for that so that will be 0 0.5 inch at both sides then you connect that point to the waistline to create the waist that just like that and then the bust measurement, the one I'm working with is 10 inches, 40 divided by 4, 10 inches. And I'm adding just 1.5 inch for the seam allowance. And then the waist I'm working with is 36. So 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches. Then with this 1 inch, that will be 10 inches. Then I will add 1 inch for the seam allowance. Then I have 11 inches. Then you connect this point together. So 
this is the back and then i'm going to cut it out then now we also had one inch for the joining so this is it then i'll just separate the yolk from the the rest of the So this is how it look like and this is the joining allowance so this is how it look like and this is the front and this is the back so we're going to be using this pattern to cut and sew a blouse with peplum <laughs> 